Hi, Trim Healthy Mamas. Hi, Trim Healthy Mamas. Wait for me to, like, <laughs> <this time. laughs> Okay, we're smiling. Okay. Hi, Chamathy Mamas. Today we're going to talk about meal planning. So first, let's introduce ourselves. Mm -hmm. My name is Rebecca. I'm a purist. I'm Monique. I'm a drive through Sue. And I'm Christina. I'm a frugal mama. So we thought we would just have a conversation about how we meal plan so that we can learn from each other mm -hmm. and so that you can maybe take some tips away too. Yeah. Okay, you want to start soon? I'll start. So, uh, the first thing is that I meal plan on my phone. I don't know mm -hmm. if you guys use paper. I use paper. I don't use paper. I love <laughs> using my phone <laughs> because I can take my shopping list to the store with me and I can access it anywhere. So, like, if I'm working, I'm like, what was I going to make for dinner tonight? I can look it up on my phone mm -hmm. right away. Um, and then what I love to do when I'm meal planning is first make a list of everything in the house that you need to use up. So I look Ooh, in the freezer, good. pantry, and fridge. So like, are there leftovers that we need to eat tonight? Are there, you know, some frozen meat that I don't have to buy? Is there some, you know, rice or some kind of bean in the pantry that I ha that I should cook up? Oh, well, that's smart. You mm -hmm. want to do that? Not really. Wow, I'm shocked. Well, I, I share a kitchen with my mom, and she kind of just has a lot of food all the yeah. time. Yeah. So she kind of always has like leftovers that she's like, eat this. I'm like, I don't want to eat that. <laughs> and my husband I rarely eats leftovers, so I make oh. small portions of food oh. at a time. Or I make it, sorry, I'm cutting it no, off a little it. bit. I make something like lasagna. I made lasagna a couple weeks ago. I made a full pan of lasagna. I fed him and my son and then made my own little like portion, but with veggies. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, so I made the lasagna, I fed him, and instead of leaving the lasagna in the fridge, hoping and praying that he would eat it again, <laughs> I, that day or the next day, I cut it into a nice square that would then look like it was fresh, stuck it in the freezer, <laughs> and then in about a week or two, I'm going to take it out, put it in a pan, cover with sauce and cheese. <laughs> and, you know, I love so that. I literally That's awesome. most of the uh, hash brown casserole. I mean, there's a lot of so casserole yeah. dishes that I my cook. husband doesn't like leftovers either. So how they, do you keep track of the things that are in your freezer? Um, I don't. I don't well, I look in there every single week when I'm right. I look in there every week too. I do the same thing as I, I meal plan I from that. the freezer. I will. Um, I and then on my meal, and I'm a paper planner. I um write on my meal plan this is in the freezer instead mm. of looking at it and saying oh i need to buy the ingredients for xyz sure uh, i say oh it's already in the freezer yes it's done. me too i uh my husband doesn't like any leftovers either even even if i put it in like a little package and i'm like oh you're gonna be home it's in the fridge he won't eat it he'll just <laughs> eat fruit all day and like half a jar of peanut butter <laughs> so <laughs> oh my god it's so um, funny that would be funny we should talk about husband's favorite Meals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Peanut yeah. butter. Yeah. And then, so what I do is I portion it out into individual por servings for my lunch. Because I'm okay with eating, bringing the same food to lunch every day for the whole yeah, week. Me too. too. Yeah. Me too. Because, me too. So I've learned to just not leave it home for him. I'm right. Like, You're, well, you it for yourself. That's <laughs> interesting that, you know, I, I'm the same way. I will make something for dinner and then have it for leftovers yes, all week long. That's like a but, solid strategy. Definitely. <laughs> Um, but my husband won't do that. So I have a lot more things for him in the freezer, like meal prepped, oh. than for myself because mm -hmm. I will eat it all up until it's gone, mm -hmm. whereas he okay. will eat it once or twice and then it's done with it. So then yeah. I hide it in the freezer, bring it out fresh, sauce and cheese. That's awesome. That's good. Yeah. So yeah. definitely looking in your freezer pantry and yes. fridge, mm -hmm. see what's there, uh, using your freezer, like Monique said, to store leftovers and mm -hmm. then incorporating them into future meal plans. That's, that's important really because you can just totally forget that it's there. Right. Um, but that's not good. So uh, next in my meal planning, I will get my stack of cookbooks, which are like my favorite in the world. And I will just look through them for inspiration. It's like my favorite thing to do on Friday nights. I thought you like shopped the sales and cooked based on those. So I look for inspiration for things that the sale, the prices won't really change that much. Oh. Or I look for things that incorporate the ingredients that I have to use up. Mm -hmm. So like I'm looking, I'm like, oh, I know I have baked chicken and I know I have a spaghetti squash. So then I'm looking to see, are there any, and I, I have the list of stuff that I have already wow. that I have to use up. Mm -hmm. So then I try and use, I try and use home ingredients as much as possible. And that usually fills up like half of the meal plan. Mm -hmm. Then I, I leave some of my meal plan open so that when I get there and shop sales, 
then I can... Oh, so you plan some when you're at the store? Yes. Oh. Or I will just buy whatever, and then when I get home, then I'll do the more more meal planning, like, hmm, I bought this because it was on sale, or it looked really good, mm. and then how can I use it up this week? Oh, but really because cool. I shop my pantry first, it's not like I forget about stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's one way to reduce food waste, is to eat up the food that you buy, because so much of our produce, especially, just rots in the fridge, mm -hmm. and it, like I've I've gone on a, my personal campaign is to stop that from happening. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's great. We should call this video like meal planning slash meal prep because you I want to talk about meal prep. I want to talk about <laughs> okay, it. Okay, go ahead. Bit. Um, so with the grocery shopping and um, you know planning what you're what you're gonna eat what you're gonna eat. Yes. Um, when you get home from the grocery store, please, please. Wash your berries <laughs> with water and vinegar. So, big bowl, berries, splash of vinegar. Soak it for the rest of the time you put the rest of the groceries away. And then rinse them off. Let it dry on the counter. The kids are going to grab them. That's okay. <laughs> uh, and then put them away. So, then they're washed and ready because I'm much more likely to eat them and feed them to the kids if I don't have to wash them yeah. every stinking time. And they last longer yeah. with the water and vinegar. Somehow it makes them last longer. Oh, that's um, yeah. Also, when you're browning meat for me, I will... I've started since Trim Healthy Mama um, browning uh, half beef and half turkey um, most of the time because I, or especially for S meals, for E meals, I don't usually use ground meat at mm -hmm. all. But um, the turkey, if it's on sale or whatever, and I feel like it absorbs, I don't know, I just like it better. Yeah, um, the texture is good. So I, gra I browned three to five pounds at a time mm -hmm. and then freeze it. Ooh. Um, wow. So I, right now, I know I have in my freezer. Two, like, and I also do this, put two pounds of meat will fit in a gallon size Ziploc bag. And so you put it in there, like, cool, mm -hmm. and then kind of make a division in the bag yeah. and flip it over. So I have two perfectly portioned one pound of ground meat in the freezer. So I'm going to make oh, sloppy joes and tacos in the next two weeks. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, so so meal too. plan, meal prep. Can I have add one purist? like thing that I do and I hope you'll be impressed yes but I do that same thing except I put a little bit of liver in there too <gasps> you brown the liver with I brown the, the liver with the other meat okay oh tell gosh. us why because liver is really good for you because because what vitamins some vitamins. people don't know that how oh. good liver is yeah oh it has all of the fat soluble vitamins a d e and k mm -hmm. it has iron Help me out, back up. Vitamin oh, B, <laughs> um, which are really, really good for energy. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically all it of the vitamins your own that you liver. need. Oh yeah, it's all the vitamins that your and cofactors that your liver needs to do its function is contained in so the livers of other liver animals. In, does your husband know? Uh, My husband doesn't know I about have the no turkey. Clue. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I don't know. I may be saying like, hey babe, there's liver in this, and he's like, oh okay. But he eats like blood sausage and like cow or like pig hearts and pig stuff. heart pig um oh. but that's like korean street food so <laughs> he's not impressed by my liver i think oh man <laughs> anyway, i don't think that in like sausages like oh, breakfast yeah. sausages with mm -hmm. pork sausage and like liver in there yeah and that was actually really good okay so okay. meal planning so you go to the grocery think, store meal plan so i think yeah. you're done i so think what's I'm your done. process my process? Mm -hmm. Okay, so recently, I would say in the past month and a half, two months, I've started going to the store every two weeks. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you why. Um, I love Aldi. I heart Aldi. <laughs> My <laughs> husband loves, you know, some foods from Aldi, but he has a particular palette of foods and drinks, especially. If you look at my fridge, half of it is like beverages, beef, <laughs> soda, chocolate milk, um, juice, different things like that. So there are certain things, brand name, cereal, brand name. Um, oh, brands. Brand name soda, um, brand name snacks, things that he wants. And I'm not going to make him not eat things that he likes or, mm -hmm. you know, he, he's healthy. And he's not really healthy, but he's a healthy weight. Um, so we don't, you know, we don't need to be I don't need to be like strict with him or anything like that yeah. so there are certain things that I cannot get at Aldi so what I had been doing previous to every two weeks was going to Aldi and then that same day going to another grocery store whether it be Hy-Vee or Target or something like that and getting the few things that we needed there and you know doing that every week well shopping with two children is like 
No. <laughs> and let me tell you, shopping at more than one store every week is like a recipe for spending too much money. Oh, I definitely. don't know why. It's like you see more different things at yes. different stores and, and you want more stuff. Right. So wow. what would happen is I would get to like my max at Aldi. Well, at Aldi is feels like you can just buy the whole store and you still <laughs> only spend $96. Yeah. But um, you get to your max. And then it's like, oh, I have this much money to spend at this store. But then it was like, oh, but this is on sale or this is exactly one Um, store a week. Right. So then when we first had our second child, um, our local grocery store, Hy-Vee, love you, Hy-Vee too. um, (laughs) They do grocery delivery, which if you spend over $100 is free. So uh, we were doing weekly Hy-Vee grocery delivery. The problem with that is um, we were, I felt like I wasn't getting as much good ingredients to make foods like make meals it was a lot more prepackaged stuff mm, um, oh. which again you can still do on Trim Healthy Mama but it wasn't um, I didn't feel like I could just go crazy in the produce department because the Aldi gro- produce is so significantly cheaper <gasps> than the Hy-Vee produce so, so how do you get it the best of both worlds so now best of both worlds here we go I do two weeks at a time because I can get two weeks worth of soda two weeks worth of name brand cereal two weeks worth of name brand snacks um, things that I know my husband wants and, um, you know, happy asks for. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, makes him happy. So I can get two weeks worth of that, our dog food, um, some paper products, uh, pull-ups, that kind of thing. Yeah. You can get two weeks worth of that at Hy-Vee grocery delivery. And then I go to Hy-Vee on the same day or I mean Aldi. So I go to Aldi in the morning oh. and I get my Hy-Vee delivery at night. Um, and so I plan for two weeks at a time, five meals per week that I'm going to cook or use from, you know, the freezer that's already done, Mm -hmm. um, because we do eat out or have, um, takeout or stuff like that, which is fine. Um, but I am able to stay under budget because, Mm -hmm. you know, what we have budgeted per week, I spend half of it at a Hy-Vee or, you know, a little bit less than half a Hy-Vee and then the rest at Aldi. And I can just go bananas with bananas and produce and things like that. (laughs) Um, because I'm, you know, getting the most money. Right. I'm getting the most best of both worlds. And then I feel like we're spending less and you eating up the food better. Yeah. That's awesome. In two weeks. In two weeks Definitely. versus every week going to two stores. It was crazy. So now yeah, I go to one really store cool. every two food. weeks, one, once every two weeks, get a delivery. And I, you know, that's awesome. It. That's awesome. Yeah, I do shop once a week, but it would be awesome if I could shop every two weeks. Well, you have Actually, limited space, though. Exactly. So I have limited space because I share a kitchen with my mom. She goes shopping every two weeks and buys up the whole store so the fridge is entirely full. <laughs> like, full. And the Love. freezer. And, and the pantry. pantry. And so, she does not shop her pantry. She does not shop with a list. <laughs> I love you, Mom, but please shop with a shop list. Shop with a list. But she's going to say, I've been doing this for 25 years. <laughs> This is how she sounds like. So, so my space is limited. We do have a fridge in the basement that we can use for like uh, overflow, but it's a challenge to get there. So I really just at this point, since we're you know we're not going to be living together for hopefully very long, <laughs> but at this point I just go shopping once a week and I buy the things that. I want to eat that my mom doesn't eat. Mm -hmm. So I'll buy, um, I mean, she does like fish, but like I'll buy like a fresh type of fish, Mm -hmm. um, some greens, nuts, snacks, any kind of thing that I want to eat for snacks, I need to buy. Mm -hmm. But my mom will buy like big roasts of meat, like big meals that me and my husband just eat with them. Yeah. Um, and she is doing Term Healthy Mama, so she's really good at S meals. Mm-hmm. E meals still kind of stump her, but <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So we do eat together a lot, so she does a lot of the shopping, mm-hmm. um, but I buy the things that um, I want to eat. And then I'll probably, I usually plan like two meals a week that I buy all the ingredients that I'll cook for yeah. us. So yeah. I really like egg roll in a bowl. Mm-hmm. Um, and I do a lot of like those kind of skillet meals because they're so flexible. Yeah. I can buy just one type of ground meat and some vegetables, and I know that by the end of the week I will use them up in some capacity. Mm. Yeah. And at the last, you know, the end of the vegetable is usually in scrambled eggs. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, that's a good. I saw you to put the end of a of a salad mix in soup. Yes. Oh my gosh, that was one of my finest moments. Yes. <laughs> like, I never would have thought to do that. It was like Italian style, um, like a house salad. So it was like a balsamic. Yeah. Um, 
It was dressed? Yes, it wow. was dressed. Oh my god. It was, <laughs> and you put it in a soup? I did. I what made soup your soul soup. soup. So oh. I just had like ground beef with like beef broth. And then mm-hmm. I put the salad in there, and the greens wilted. So um, I think I also might have put some not naughty noodles. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But wow, the greens wilted. Good. And, you know, in soup, I would have put olive oil or and like balsamic escarole anyway. or something. So it's kind yeah. of like along that line. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that sounds awesome. So that's one of, yeah. So that was really your proud. proudest. <laughs> Reuse. Reuse. Okay, can I talk about my proudest moment? Yeah. Sure. Okay. So <laughs> this is a long enough video. Yeah. <laughs> why not? Um, whole chicken in the crock pot. I just like am doing this all day after that because like, you can cook. I mean, you can you eat it the whole the first day as a regular like a roast chicken. Then you make your uh, chicken salad. You make it. You put it in a uh, chicken enchiladas or chicken quesadillas with low carb tortillas, drive through soup. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and then you have all these chicken bones. So you um, pull off the chicken that night when you're done with it and use that for the rest of the week or freeze it or whatever. And then you put the bones and water and whatever vegetables and spices and stuff back in the crock pot. And overnight you make. Bone, bone broth. broth. Awesome. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And now that my six month old is eating, I love feeding him bone broth like mixed in with different things. Because I'm like, oh, he's so healthy. <laughs> That's so, awesome. Yeah. That. Whole chicken in the crock pot, hands down, my favorite. Like, use it or like cook it. it once, use it a million times. Yeah. Can I talk about my finest moment then? Yes, sure. totally. My finest moment is making trim, healthy, modern Raymond noodles. Oh. You've seen that on my. I think so. They're like whole wheat noodles, right? I found whole wheat noodles at the Asian market, and they're Mm. Raymond noodles, and there's no other ingredients except for whole wheat flour. I don't know how they freaking make these (laughs) things. I kind of don't want to (laughs) know. So now we can have like, you know, twice a month or something, Raymond noodles with bone broth and veggies, and it's Mm. an E. Mm. (gasps) It's amazing. That is so cool. Yeah, so, so we kind of started telling people meal tips. Well, we have a meal plan. Meal plan and meal prep. prep. I love meal prep. We try and post our meal prep. When oh, Instagram. Do you? On Instagram stories. Yeah, the stories. No, so it's only available it. for 24 hours after you right. post it. Mm-hmm. So I usually do Saturday. Just check on the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, then we'll see if we if we can do some meal prep. Sometimes I meal prep on Tuesdays because oh. it's my day off before I work. A That's cool. Days. So I might catch a meal prep on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we love Instagram. Yeah.